Uh, don't worry about trying to read it uh, as I scroll down babbling because I'm going to put the link. Uh, but I wanted to share this uh, because there are several key points in it that are, um, you know, relatively important. It's not like I'm trying to, you know, like I upload a video. Well, I'm out to prove everyone wrong. You know, but uh, for instance, Jeff Claw and others mentioned, well, he would have been seen. The helicopter would have seen him and the search dogs would have found them and stuff like that. Well, it's not, I'm not hell-bent on proving anyone wrong. Like, what I'm doing is sharing information. Okay, so, uh, this guy went missing. It was over, uh, you know, east of uh, San Francisco, and the terrain is a little bit different, but there's several key points in it that are important. Okay, the guy went missing on a, a run, right? almost in town and uh, anyway volunteer searcher finds body near trail under tree even though well let me scroll down because that's what the video is about like I said I'm gonna put the link don't don't try and uh, read along mystery was solved volunteer found a body under a tree about a quarter mile which, you know, if my math is correct, maybe a thousand feet, uh, 1,200 feet off the trail exactly where everyone was looking, scouring the whole area. Um, he even plotted where he was on a fitness app. Uh, police said the remains of Shirley Ham. Uh, oh, also it says when temperatures reached 106 degrees, uh, Please don't lose track of the fact that when Kenny went miss missing, it was not in the heat of summer. It was, you know, pretty much just before Thanksgiving. Uh, at a news and even, okay, news conference, police said the body was found on a ridge in a spot not ready, vis readily visible from the sky or even near the trail. Well, it was near the trail. It was, you know, in the same area. Uh, Let me see if I, let me point it better. Our, our mood is very somber. Now listen to this. Uh, family had been notified the last official search was Saturday. In other words, before the body was found, the last official search was Saturday with 125 certified search and rescue individuals looking for Krasik. 125 certified search and rescue. That doesn't mean they're not doing their job right. Not at all. They're trying to find a guy before he dies. They, no, they did perfect. But they can't go out and search every square inch of the United States. The body was discovered. It's a trail. Blah, blah. And blah blah yappity yap he said law enforcement searches by air and foot had scoured the area where the body was found Tuesday we just didn't see it he had on his uh, running shoes uh, and it's uh, so on and yappity yap and blah 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 well it says at least 2,000 feet northwest of his planned running route but that that is not a quarter of a mile uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Search and rescue team Saturday had uh, scoured the area where he went missing, climbing down ravines and searching rough terrain. Uh, official had, uh, Saturday, the officials had searched in person, used drones, infrared imaging, and dozens, dozens of search docks, but came up empty, 
even though they eventually found the guy right where he said he was going to be. Dozens of search dogs, uh, drones, infrared imaging, and then that's it. It says no mountain lions, whatever. But anyway, that's that's my point. Uh, it, it's not to like prove Jeff Claw Jeff Claw wrong that a body could be up there. It could have been up there when the first searchers went up. Their job is not to search the entire country. It's to find the person, you know, uh, still alive. But they went up with, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, rub it in. Along with infrared imaging and dozens, dozens of search dogs, but came up empty.